Ayo! I hope that you had a fantastic holiday. Uh, energy was crazy. Um, a, a lot of times throughout the holidays, uh, and especially on holidays, um, you know, these a lot of feelings come up. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of things happening within yourself um, that are, you know, just just uh, hurts and uh, all different all different feelings that are coming to the surface to be released, uh, and that you're being cleansed of, and you know. It certainly could be a very trying period, but you know you could look at it look at it from the sense that um, you know you're getting rid of all these things. You're getting rid of the things that are that have been weighing you down, uh, and that's great because you know releasing anything and bringing in that that new clean energy is uh, is a great thing. You know, you, after after all of that heaviness. Uh, dissipates and, and goes away, you, you feel, you know, rejuvenated and, and really good. And so, did your twin, you know, show up at your doorstep over the holiday and give a little flash? Did you get anything under the tree? Were they, did they wrap themselves and put themselves under your, under your Christmas tree or whatever holiday you you've been celebrating and that's okay if they haven't why is that okay because be it's it's about being present being in the present moment right and just take stock of everything that's in your life right like really uh look around and see what it is that you do have and really appreciate and have and have gratitude for what you have and and not being you know living your in the past or not living in the future it's going to trip you up right you're going to you're going to be like all upset if if you keep dwelling back to the, you know times when when you were with them or times when you were in communication and you know that's just going to that's just going to upset you more and looking ahead to the future uh, can can really cause some anxiety and, and give you like this anxious feeling like you have to be doing something or something needs to be uh, controlled by you in order to you know make this all happen. And being in the present with yourself and, and really analyzing what it is that is going on in your life, like the real things that are happening in the right in your life, what you really have, you know, enjoy those things, you know, from that place, from the present time, from the now is how you move forward and how you move through this. You know, it's very easy to, to say, well, you know, don't try to control the situation and, and just be in the now and just, you know, let things unfold uh, as the process does, but it's the difference between um, doing those things and, and allowing this to happen and, and allowing it to happen easily and letting it letting your life flow and just getting in that groove of going with with the energy and where it takes you and allowing things to unfold naturally um, and the, and the difference between you know just slamming your head against the wall and, and trying to bust through doorways and, and just like uh, really burn yourself out and, and not really get anywhere. You're spinning, spin your wheels and, and nothing's really uh, taking shape because you, you're, you're just like overworking yourself and just completely, you know, coming from a place of, of uh, lack and not having anything. So, when you live in the present and you enjoy everything that you have and, and you're, you're able to uh, get into that groove and, and, move, and move through this process with ease, it really gives you uh, comfortability and it really gives you, you know, uh, this, 
this sense that, you know, you're, you're supported because you are, because God is supporting you through this journey a hundred percent. You know, there's, it's only when you don't believe that you're being supported is when you are, you know, taking all these other unnecessary actions to, uh, get to union, be, be in union, right? To, to love yourself in all the areas that you aren't, you know, it's frantic, you know, put yourself in the present, allow these things to unfold naturally. And, you know, especially with, with, uh, this year closing out, give yourself, uh, the gift of support, you know, ask for help. If come to me, go to asoneguidance.com and, and we'll figure out how to help each other, how, to, how I can help you, uh, as, you know, as, as this process unfolds for you. you know, identify what it is that's standing in your way. Move through these uh, really heavy and, and uh, hurtful feelings that you, that you are carrying with you. You know, dissolve all of these, these limiting beliefs that are keeping you from really achieving the things that you want in your life, in your life, like your twin and wealth and, and, uh, you know, all the material things that, that you desire, your passion, what are you living your passion? Like really discover yourself. And, and, uh, you know, that's, that goes hand in hand on your twin flame journey, like these things, these things are synonymous with each other. So go down below to this to the description box and check out the links to contacting me and uh, you know, move forward. Move forward on your journey, especially going into uh, a new year, which is only days away. So I look forward to hearing from you and I will talk to you next time.